If you haven't noticed, Lychee Slicer has evolved. And unlike me, this just evolved to have more back pain. It's evolved into something pretty awesome. And that's called the Lychee Library. Let me show you. In order to get started, first we need to make sure that you're using the right version of Lychee Slicer. So if you're not using version 7.0 or above, go download that now. Once you have that installed, head over to the program. And what you're going to notice is that there is a new icon to the left of layout. That icon is the library. Click on that library and you'll see you will now have access to uh, over 750 models at the time of making this video. And we're going to be adding more every single month, maybe even every single week coming up. I'm here pretty soon. I'm pretty sure we're going to double that number. Now, first, I want to show you how to navigate this library. We're going to start from the home screen. The first thing you should notice is that we've got quite a few categories to choose from. We've got a search bar at the top where you can just type in what you're looking for. We've got a few drop downs right here, whether or not you want to look for filament or resin, and then whether or not you want to look for pre-supported or unsupported models. Now in the future, we are going to do our best to make sure that every single file in the library comes pre-supported. All right, so from here, let's just say I'm looking for, uh, I want to play a tabletop game and I'm looking for something like a miniature. I can click on the miniature drop down here and you can see it's broken down into other categories. Now, if you've got some uh, categories you would like us to add in here or any other features that you would like us to see, go ahead and make sure to join us on our Discord or our Facebook group and then let us know what kind of features, categories, or other filtration you would like to see in the slicer to help us make it a better product. You might notice that some of these have a little blur on them with an ion icon. If you click on that, what you're gonna see is that we've got an explicit content warning. From here, the choice is yours on which one you wanna do. You wanna show the content, hide it, always blur, always show. It's your choice, um, you know, make it wisely. Especially if you got some, some kids who have access to the, the, the library, you might wanna you know, always hide the content, it's up to you. From here, I'm just gonna find a model that I like. You can see down here at the bottom, there's 18 pages, quite a few per page. And some of these do have multiple variants of the same model. If I click on all 3D models, and I click on these two drop downs here, you can see I can filter this by resin or filament or pre-supported and unsupported. If I select, let's say a pre-supported uh, resin model, let's see what something beautiful we can just grab here real quick. Uh, let's grab this dragon right here. This guy is pretty awesome looking. So if I wanna load this in, I just select the variant that I want. I'm gonna just do the default one and then select import selected models. Now first, let's take a look at this though. There's some information here we can get we can see it's certified by Lychee. Now what that means is Lychee has inspected or printed this model to guarantee that this will print really beautifully. We can see it's a pre-supported model, it's resin, and we can also see that it's tabletop miniature, fantasy, or creatures. Uh, and like I said, those categories, we were just gonna get even better and better with having more categories and making the shop even easier to filter. So from here, I'll just click on import selected models. And this is gonna download kind of a grayed out lower quality version of the model. This is to kind of save your bandwidth of your internet as well as our servers. And it's just to give you a preview of what this looks like before you wanna download the high quality version and slice it. Now, even if you don't have a subscription to the library, you can still do everything that I've showed you so far. The only thing that you're prevented from doing is downloading the HD version and slicing it. And if you don't know this already, if you purchase the Lychee library, that comes with Lychee Plus. So it's only a single subscription to get everything Lychee, the FDM, the library, and the slicer. It's a pretty good package deal. From here, let's say I wanted to print this model. I probably want to hide the one that's off the build plate. Just select it and click V to do that one. Now I can, there's a shortcut. I can click on switch to HD at the bottom, switch to HD on the right. I can individually click on the library button if I just want to download one of them to preview it. Let's say this this leg, it'll download it and I can see the HD version. Or if I just, I know I want to print this thing and I just click on the export button Go over and click on slice to file. And for this one, I'm gonna choose the Mono 7S. I'm gonna do fast slicing and I'm gonna do anti-aliasing surface, deep smooth surfaces. Now, something that you might know, if under normal, you see here we've got high definition uh, anti-aliasing. Under fast slicing, that is always on. That's the default anti-aliasing here. And so from here, just click on the green button, which is the export slices to file, save the file, and that is it. This thing is, it's everything's included. It's all in one place, makes it super, super easy. In fact, let's do this real quick. I wanna see how, if I can do this with just my mouse and how many clicks it is. So I'm not gonna use my keyboard at all. I'm gonna start over and let's just see how to find a model um, and then basically get it to the printer with as, as, as how many tick clicks that actually takes on my mouse. All right, so if I just open a Blighty Slicer, I'm looking at it right here. I'm only gonna use my mouse. I have to click on library. I have to find the model that I want. Uh, let's do art and design. Um, 
Well, I guess let's, we should count these. So one to click on library. Um, let's see, all models. Let's find something that I really want to print. I think I actually like this guy from, from pre-supported by Atlas. That's two clicks. It's going to load it up. Let's see which one I want to do. I, I want the default model on this one. We can see here certified by Lychee, pre-supported. Um, yeah, let's import that default one. That's three clicks. It's going to pull up the, uh, the character unlocked gray uh, export. There's my fourth click. And then export slice to file, five, and save. Six clicks. And there we go. That is six clicks to from an, you just open Lychee to now this file is sliced and ready to print. No keyboard included. All in one program. I think that is absolutely awesome and super simple. Now that's for resin. What about for FDM? I got something to show you there. Let's say I wanted to do FDM. We're gonna go to all models, drop down. Let's look for the filament. All right, let's say, or there's another way I can do it. I can go down to um, gadgets, games and toys, articulated. And from here I can see, you know, what kind of articulated models are here. I really like this fish. I wanna print this fish. So we're going to click on that. Now from here, what it's gonna do, it's actually gonna notice that I'm trying to import a filament model or model that's tagged for FDM into a scene that's designed for resin. So it's gonna automatically say, hey, do you wanna switch your scenes? And this one I'm just gonna click on continue. Now, if you don't have a filament printer in Lychee, you're gonna to wanna to add one. Even if you don't have one in real life and you want to inspect the models and look at them, you're still gonna to wanna to do that. And so to add a model or to add a filament printer, let's just go back to resin. That's probably where you'll be. Click on 3D printer, add filament. And it doesn't matter, you know, obviously if you have one, add the one you have, but if you don't just add any one, it doesn't matter at all. And so from here, when I import this model, let's do that again real quick. We'll import it. It's gonna automatically detect that I'm in resin and swap me and, and swap me over to filament. From here, I can download the model to kind of inspect it, give it a look-see. Looks like a beautiful little fish. Export, export to G-code and save and I'm done. Some of the filament models like this grumpy here, when you import them, it's gonna come up and say, hey, would you like to use these settings? Now, these are settings that Lychee has said works really well for this type of model. So I can either choose to override or not use it. On this one, I'm just gonna select all and override. I'm gonna grab their settings, the ones that Lychee has said are, are great for this model. Let's download the HD version, go to export and slice it to the G code and I'm done. And I've actually already sliced this little guy right here. I did it in pink for my daughter and I think he's pretty cute and she actually really loves him. So it worked out really, really well. And it was so easy. This thing took, well, what you just saw, it took no time and no effort whatsoever. It was fantastic. Of course, the search function is really easy to use, but you got to use a keyboard for that one. So let's do like skeletons for like a D&D game I want to do. Uh, helps if you see, I even misspelled skeletons and it still did it right. It understood what I meant. <laughs> see, it even, even works with typos. So, all right, let's look at these skeletons. Same thing. Let's just import the model. Now from here, because I'm going from an FDM scene to a resin, it's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to detect it, pop me back over. I can click on export, slice, and that's it. I'm done. Like it's so fast. It's so easy. All one program. All right. So this slicing is finished. All I have to do now is just send it off to the printer and that's it. I'm good to go. Also, the library doesn't require a subscription to check it out. And I really do encourage you to do that. I also would like it if you could send me your feedback. I really want to know how you feel about it. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Discord and Facebook. We plan on doing one of these videos every single week. So if you have any topics you'd like us to cover, let us know. And once again, thank you for watching and have a good day.